Good morning, students. Today we can solve one second order equations. Non homogeneous second order equations. Right hand side is not equal to zero. We can solve this equation by using method of variation parameters. When we apply the method of variation parameters, the standard form is y double dash plus px y dash plus qx y is equal to r of x. First, we check whether it is a standard form y double dash plus px y dash plus qx y is equal to r of x. Then, to find the solution, here we have two solutions that is y is equal to y of c plus y of p. This is the total solution. First, we find out complementary function as y of c. Then, second, we find out particular integral. Particular integral. Then, total solution will be y of c plus y of p. To find the right hand side, that is y of p, we use the formula y of p is equal to minus y1 integral of y2 r of x, r of x the right hand side, right hand side by w. W is a Ronskian constant, w is a Ronskian constant into dx plus y2 into integral of y1 r of x dx by w. To calculate w, the determinant y1, y2, y1 dash, y2 dash. By using the determinant form, we can calculate Ronskian constant w. w is a Ronskian constant. Uh, to find the y of p, the second part, to find the y of p, we use the formula minus y1 integral of y2 r of x by w dx plus y2 integral y1 r of x dx by w. We can solve this problem. This is a problem y double dash minus 2 y dash plus y is equal to e raised to x. First, we compare with our standard equation. Our standard equation is y double dash plus px y dash plus qx y is equal to r of x. First, we find out the y of c to find the y of c. First part. We have to find out the first part. For that, we write this equation. We write the auxiliary equation. We know the auxiliary equation is. Lambda square minus 2 lambda plus 1 is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation. We solve this equation. This is lambda minus 1, the whole square is equal to 0. Therefore, lambda is equal to 1, 1. Here, the roots are repeated. Since the roots are repeated, the solution y of c is equal to c1 plus c2x into e raised to x. This is the solution. y of c is equal to C1 plus C2x into E raised to x this is the uh, complementary solution. Next, we have to find out Y of P, right hand side part, and we have to find out the right hand side part. To find the right hand side part, we apply the formula. The formula is minus Y1 integral of Y2 into R of x W dx plus Y2 into integral of Y1 into R of x dx by W. Then we can calculate the second part. The first part is y of c is equal to c1 plus c2x into e raised to x. First part is over. Then we can calculate the second part. Second part y of p. We have to calculate the second part. To find the second part, our uh, uh, complementary function is yc is equal to yc is equal to c1 plus c2x into e raised to x y is equal to c1 plus c2x into e raised to x. Then we releasing the bracket c1 into e raised to x plus c2 into x into e raised to x y of c. Then here compare with the y of c is equal to c1 y1 plus c2 y2. Compare this equation, we get y1 is equal to e raised to x y2 is equal to x into e raised to x. So first, we find out the values y1 and y2. To calculate Ronskian constant w, first we uh, find out the y1 and y2 from the complementary solution. From the complementary solution, first we have to find out the uh, y1 and y2. For that, we expand this one, c1 into e raised to x plus c2 into x into e raised to x. Compare with the c1 y1 plus c2 y2. Therefore, y1 equal to e raised to x and y2 is equal to x in e raised to x. Then we cal calculate w. w is equal to y1, y2, y1 dash, y2 dash. 
y1 is equal to e raised to x. y2 is equal to x into e raised to x. Then y1 dash, y1 dash is equal to e raised to x itself. When we are differentiating e raised to x, we get e raised to x. y2 dash is equal to differentiate this one by x into e raised to x plus e raised to x into 1. We calculate this one. We can calculate. That is W is equal to uh, W is equal to e raised to x into x into e raised to x plus e raised to x minus e raised to x into x into e raised to x. Determine the calculation. Then when we are releasing the bracket, x into e raised to x into e raised to x, e raised to 2x uh, plus e raised to x into e raised to x, e raised to 2x uh, minus uh, e raised to x, x into e raised to 2x. We cancel this one. Therefore, we get w is equal to e raised to 2x. So first, we calculate the value of uh, w. Therefore, w is equal to e raised to 2x. Then, we can calculate y of p. y of p is equal to minus y1 integral y2 r of x by w dx plus y2 into integral of y1 r of x dx by w. We know that y1 is equal to y1 and there no y1 is equal to e raised to x. y1 is equal to e raised to x. Integral y2, y2 is equal to x into e raised to x. Then right hand side and there no right hand side, right hand side is e raised to x divided by w is equal to e raised to 2x. e raised to 2x. Then dx plus y2 x into e raised to x integral y1 e raised to x into r of x e raised to x w e raised to 2x 2x dx then we simplifying this one when we simplifying here e raised to x e raised to x e raised to 2x will cancel e raised to x into e raised to e raised to 2x e raised to 2x cancel here e raised to x, e raised to x, cancel. Therefore, we get minus e raised to x into integral of x dx. Integral of x dx is equal to x square by 2 plus x into e raised to x. Here, integral of dx. Integral of dx is equal to x. Therefore, y of p, y of p is equal to minus e raised to x into x square by 2 plus x into e raised to x into x. Therefore, the total solution or general solution will be general solution. General solution is y is equal to y of c plus y of p. Y of c now y of c is equal to c1 plus c2x into e raised to x plus y of p minus e raised to x into x square by 2 plus x into x square into e raised to x. This is the final solution of this required problem. Therefore, the general solution is y of c plus y of p, y of c is equal to c1 plus c2x, uh, c2x into e raised to x, uh, plus minus e raised to x into x square by 2, plus x square into e raised to x. We can simplify, again we can simplify this, therefore the final solution is this. This is the procedure uh, to find the solution by using method of variation parameter. By using method of parameters, we can easily solve the second order uh, ordinary differentiation. The non homogeneous ordinary differentiation we can solve by using method of variation parameters. In this case, to find the value of uh, right hand side, y of p, to find the value of y of p, we use the formula minus y1 integral of y2 r of x by w dx plus y2 into integral of y1 r of x dx by to find the Ronskian constant W, determinant y1, y2, y1 dash, y2 dash. Then we can calculate y of p. The general solution will be y of c plus y of p is the general solution. Okay.